we got uh, some information for you that this Saturday is the People Bowl that FIU and the University of Miami are playing in a football game, and it has been dubbed the People Bowl on both sides by FIU. Uh, the UM Athletic Department evidently is obsessed with this new addition to our show. It's been a long time since we had new people around here, right? I know Lorenzo and Charlie have joined the TV crew, but our radio crew has been our radio crew for a long time. So to have people embrace this people the way that they have as the, the first new person we've had around here in a while is very exciting. Now, why wouldn't they embrace me? I'm dope, bro. You make it seem like it's a shock that people are embracing this. <laughs> What's the surprise here? Explain it to me. Well, how does this work for people this weekend? Because it's very confu- confusing. You have Lorenzo's around here, and Lorenzo's an FIU grad who's rooting for Miami, and that doesn't make any sense, and it's weird. Uh, uh, Billy is an FIU grad. I don't know where his allegiances lie, but Beepo, Beepo only went to FIU. He didn't go to the University of Miami, but he's a UM guy. So I don't know. What does Beepo do this weekend? Uh, I, it's just, I didn't go to FIU. Please get out of here. I went to Dade and I had a little bit Carlos Albizo there, but I did not go to FIU. I have a couple credits left. I'm working on some things, as you know, but what, what do you mean? Where does the allegiance lie? My bad. The you. Get out of here. Again with this. You know what I realized, Dan? Because Pelgrant over here. This is what I realized. You never loved Miami. You never loved this school. Never. You only went to this school so you could sneak and weasel your way in yeah. and get access yep. and destroy it from inside. Because you're a rat. You're like a parasite to this university yeah. and this town, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and your time has come, and we're going to extinguish you. Yeah. <laughs> But you didn't go to the school. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what What does that have to do with I didn't go to the school? What does that have to do with anything? I mean, it seems to me an argument ender, does it not? Oh, he didn't bring the school down. Have either. you heard me stopping to argue? I haven't stopped arguing. You think that's it? That's all you got? You didn't go to the school? <laughs> Please. That doesn't do anything. Is that the sound of my jowls? People? That's what you sound like to everybody around here. Yep. Everybody in these streets. Yep. These streets you didn't even grow up in, by the way. Yep. Miramar, please. 954, Miami. This guy's all about Miami. <laughs> what a joke, this guy. You're all about Miami. And right, you're people? from New Jersey, not even Miami and Miramar. Please. I'm Miami. I'm the heart of this city and this school. Please. Did you even get a degree? Because they're about to give me an honorary degree from that school. All the stuff for I've done for so that dope, school. For being so dope? For being so dope? Hell yeah. <laughs> Doctorate in dopeness. <laughs> forget the bachelors. Forget the masters. Dr. Dope. That's what they're going to call me. <laughs> so what's the U going to do to FIU and that burning rivalry that the country is uh, uh, is really interested in this weekend? What are you talking about? What are they going to do? You know what they're going to do. They're going to dominate. Are you crazy? <laughs> this is a Papa game. And once again, Mark Rick is coaching for his job this weekend. And we talked to you about this all weekend long. And no one wants to listen to it. We're back, baby. The U is back. Yeah. A Papa game? A potato game? A Papa game. It's easy, baby. It's Papa. It's cake. This game is a joke. <laughs> Please. I don't think they're even going to play four quarters. I'm telling you right now, this game is going to be over at two quarters. <laughs> And they're going to be lucky if I even get in because usually I get in in the third quarter. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, they let them play a little bit before we get to the fourth quarter because that's when I usually get there's a fourth quarter. It seems to be a uh, an okay indictment of your fandom that you get to the game so late. I don't feel like that's a, an unnecessary criticism. What are you talking about? What does that even mean? A what? Your tailgating keeps you from getting into Hell the game. Hell yeah, my tailgating. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I got this. Dude, there's something wrong with tailgating now. I'm not a good fan. I didn't go to the school. I'm not a good fan because I partied too hard before the game. What do you want me to do? You want me to go in there and just clap when all they announce the teams and all they're running through the smoke? Please get out of here. No, I just want you to be there. What time do you get to the game? I just want you to be there. Oh, what time are you going to be there, Dan? What time are you going to be there, Dan? When I went to the school or after with the years that I covered the school? Now, big guy over here telling me how to be a fan. What time are you going to get to the game, Dan? What time are you going to be there on Saturday? I will not be there. Oh! <laughs> oh, Big Dan Levitard telling me how to be a fan when he doesn't even go to the game. Okay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. This guy. Is the university even proud? Do they acknowledge that you went there? 
I don't think they do. There's Good. Not, they I, shouldn't. I, I am not. I don't believe I am sent out in the proud alumni paraphernalia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. I joke this guy, Dan Levitard. Why do they even give him a show, to be honest with you? All he does is talk crap about the U. He's the number one hater. That's, did you vote for them in the top 25? Well, they've given me three shows, actually. Oh, man. Wow. Oof. By the way, now that I have the platform, thank you, Daniel. Listen, Reese Davis, I saw that you didn't vote for the U to be in the top 25. What a mistake. You were talking too much to that Pablito. And I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Pablito, Reese, who else, Mike? Tell me who else. Who else we got to call so, out right I here? I think that Joe Kinsey from the Gainesville oh, Sun. Man. Joe oh, Kinsey? Wow. Get out of here. It was a gentleman from the San Jose Mercury. And there's some guy from New Mexico, I remember. Yeah, Albuquerque. Who was the guy from San Jose? <laughs> Casper got his rims. I told you I told you that Casper was going to go out there, and Casper got his rims. Ha! <laughs> San Jose. You thought that I didn't have people out there. I have people everywhere. <laughs> out of here. Why do you have uh, feuds with all of those people? Because they're haters. Duh. They're haters. They keep the U out of the top 25 because they're jealous, because they hate us, because they ain't us. It's a U thing. You wouldn't understand, Dan. <laughs> Did you actually pronounce it anus? They hate us because they ain't us. Am yes. I doing that wrong? What's wrong with anus? that? Nope. Anus? I'm just not sure how you're saying that. You're not doing it wrong. I'm just asking for a clarification. Oh, so now you're making fun of my accent too, Dan. Great. Wow. Freaking arrepentido over here. Mr. Perfect and William Shakespeare over here with perfect English. I'm sorry, Dan. How do I pronounce it? Dímelo. How do I do it? <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us. I'm Dan Levitar. <laughs> I went to the University of Miami, <laughs> and I got in and tried to ruin the program <laughs> and the school. Watch my show with my father, who I keep around just so people like me more. No, no. No, no. Ow. <laughs> they dislike us because they aren't us. Is that better, bro? It is better. Don't let no one build you. <laughs> it is better. Don't let no one build you. <laughs> so many people so confused. <laughs> they must be, right? How does that go over with the audience? Do I need to explain this to Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> the world isn't talking about FIU Miami. <laughs> what do you think? People in Minnesota don't know dope people. They get it. They know what's up. <laughs>